There we were, on a remote island in the Caribbean, surrounded by bloodthirsty pirates and holed up in a small fort. So we decided that we would sneak out in the middle of the night to try to save our friend Jojo from the pirates. To save him? But it sounded like he had chosen to be with the pirates. I could be wrong. He might have rebelled, but he was still our friend. And whether he knew it or not, he still needed our help, whatever the cost. But there was something else pushing me. I wanted a rematch with Long John Silver. He lied to you. Then he betrayed you, and attacked you. You had plenty of reason to be angry. At first, I was too scared to process how I felt. There was only the rush, as we tried to defend ourselves from their attacks. Then, the fear went away and my anger took over. And I was determined to not let Jojo become a criminal like Silver. Okay, Jim, you're the one who got us into this mess, so you're the one who's going to have to get us out. After all, you're the one in charge. Wait, I'm in charge? Because you are so smart and brave, Jim. We should have finished them off back on the ship. If we had done that, our problem would be solved by now. Problem solved, problem solved. It's always about the sword and drink with you. But that's not enough. We have to use our heads if we're gonna get our hands on all that treasure. But how? They're still the ones who are holding the map. What do we do? Ask them politely if they could hand it over to us? Ah! We still have the ship and all the supplies on board. They won't last much longer. Just trust me. Have some patience. Their time will run out. I don't need patience. Just let me keep my sword sharp so that I can be ready to take them on. Friends of death against every evil sortie. <laughs> I'll go. You wait here. If they find me, run back to the fort and tell the others. Do not try to help me escape, understand? Jim, what are you doing here? Do you know what they'll do if they find you? Sorry, we just can't let you join these pirates. Do you know what you'll get? A life of violence that ends with you going to jail. I don't care. All I know is I'm not going back to my life as a slave. If I can escape for good, then the rest isn't important. Let me help you. I'll speak to the squire and Dr. Livesey. We'll make sure that you can return to England free. That's just a crazy dream. No, you're my friend and I'll do anything to help you. You're a foolish dreamer, Jim, but thank you. Uh, huh? Sorry, I didn't really mean to. I just wanted to try and help. What, children? Uh! Hmm? Uh, wake up! Those rats are here! After them! Jim, uh, we have to go! Lynn, come back! No! No, Lynn, run away! Uh, 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 oh, my great Neptune, this is a madhouse! Uh, uh. Oh. Follow me! Run away. Ah. Those two are getting away! Shoot them quick! Hold your fire! We're not shooting two women! Watch! We've got them! Let me go! Oh, poor little girl! Maybe she should call her boyfriend! What do you think, Anderson? 
Uh, Let go of me, you little snake! Don't you touch her, you big jerks! Hold on uh, there, boy. I'm the one who calls the shots. Let me handle it. Now bring them over and don't harm them. Silver, you're getting soft on those brats. Enough is enough! So you've said, Anderson. Say it as much as you want. But a rotten drunk like you isn't always able to see the big picture. They came to convince Jojo to go back with them. But Jojo knew they would come, so he devised a plan to help us capture them. Huh? None of that is true. I was the one who woke up the crew! Ugh. Hmm? What's done is done. So now, enough talk. You see, they'll want to trade the map for these hostages. You won't stop at anything, will you, Long John? You'd sell your own mother if it meant you would get some money, wouldn't you? It depends on how much money I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> for this treasure, boy, I would sell out so much more. Long John, I'm hungry. You be quiet now. Go ahead and eat all of this yourself, lad. Show no weakness. I'm sorry. It looks like you still have to toughen up. But Long John is willing to train you. You could all be pirates. So now you just expect us to sign up with you and those bandits? I don't want to be a bad person like you. Which is worse, raiding the high seas or living like animals? None of these men were born lucky. They all grew up in slums, where hard work was rewarded with a crust of bread. And what exactly do you think is waiting for them back in England? Only more blood, sweat, and tears. We have chosen to reject that life, and instead we chose the life of marauders. A life we can live as free men! But a life of stealing does nothing to fix all the evil in the world. Don't you understand that? Who said anything about saving the world? I'll save myself! You're a selfish and heartless man. My father was braver than you'll ever be. Your father was a good man. He never had to run away from his problems. But you, young lady, isn't that what you're doing? Well, they're not alone. The squire is ready to help them the same way he helped my mother. Ha! Promises that are lighter than the wind and dry leaves. Puh, don't you see that? You'll be like Jojo, beaten and sold. He changed his destiny. Don't become slaves, choose freedom. Stop wasting your time with these brats. He wants to convince us to become pirates, but I'm gonna stay with Jim. He's not like you. He found out about your plan and he told everyone about it. No, Lynn, hmm? stop. It's okay, Tracy. I have nothing to hide and I would do what I did before a thousand times over. So you're the little bilge rat who ruined our plans and blew our cover. Now we have you. Ah, bilge rat! Ah. Bet it's real easy for you when it's so many against one. What a bunch of cowards, Here. huh? I'll silence that tongue of yours, boy, once one and for all. Moment. I warn you, Silver, try to stop me and you'll suffer the same fate. <laughs> First off, if you value your life, don't threaten me, ever. And second, of course the boy must be punished. But why not do it for an audience in front of Captain Smollett and the rest of his friends? That way we can threaten to do the same thing with the little ones. And that will force them to give up the map on the spot. Just a moment. We only need a few men. The rest of you wait here and guard the camp. Long John, you promised me that Jim and the girls wouldn't get hurt. I know, but it appears that things have become more complicated. I'll do my best to keep them safe. Hmm? Hey, did you hear that? What was it? It's probably just a bird. Perhaps a lady friend for Flint to start a family with. <laughs> How dare you laugh at me? The ghost of a man who died on this island. Must be a ghost, Captain. Oh, yeah. A ghost! Huh? I'm the ghost of a greedy captain, dead from a bullet in my heart. 
Ah, uh, yes. There's no doubt. If you are who you say you are, I know you all too oh. well. Yes, Long John. I am huh? the ghost of Joshua Flint, the oh. man you killed. Oh. But I do not seek revenge. I only want justice and a sign of goodwill. Release the children. Huh? 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 Are you crazy, Long John? Don't shoot. You'll make the spirit angry, and he'll come for our souls. <laughs> no! Let him shoot! Let him uh, find out uh, how foolish uh, he is! Uh, <laughs> what fun! <laughs> uh, enough of this! Ghosts don't exist, and I know that laugh from anywhere! I'm not looking. We should run uh, now! I'm scared. He's uh, running away! Uh, uh, stay here! The rest of you, come with me now! What about the ghost? There is no ghost. That's Ben Gunn, the man we marooned here years ago. He's just a man! He can't even harm a fly. Now go! Please, sir, I hope you won't eat me. <laughs> oh, no. Ben will not eat you. Ben does not like roast English. English roast. It's a funny joke. Uh, Ever seen a ghost? Ben's been dead for a long time. But Ben's not the ghost of Flint. That was a lie I told. Ben Gunn used to be a pirate. Silver killed Flint and ran away. Then Ben got lost. Ben Gunn, will you help me save my friends? <laughs> Goddamn beard. I have a crew that's lost their marbles. Ah, marbles! Ah. <sighs> Uh, forgive me, ladies, but I must step away for a minute. Of course. I knew I was right. An English war frigate headed straight for this island. Those bloody redcoats. They'll be armed to the teeth, and they've got us cornered. Retreat! Retreat! Nowhere to uh, run. Fly away! Oh, no. Not this time, friend. We'll have to find another way to get that treasure. Come on, ladies. The pirates are far away. We can get out of here. What are you saying? Trick those scoundrels. Now we can run back to the fort and warn Captain Smollett. You didn't think I was actually one of the pirates, did you? Uh, mm. <laughs> Quickly! We must scurry along like little ferrets! <laughs> Don't be slow. Follow me on the narrow path. <sighs> Enough, Long John. I'm warning you. Let Jim and the girls go like you promised, or you'll have to answer to me. Stop it. The girls are safe with me, and Jim got away free as a lark. Jim ran away. I don't know how he did huh? it, but he managed to outsmart all the pirates. And Long John's taking us back to the fort. Hey, Long John. Are you kidding me? I didn't take your side just so I could end up in the hands of Captain Smollett. Jojo, you've trusted me this far, and you can keep trusting me. Come on, we're doing the right thing. Huh? There's a bay past the cliff. We'll stop there. You don't seem too concerned about Governor Blade. It's complete madness that he would want to come here, and without an escort. Nothing. Let's try splitting up here. And the first person who finds the ghost of Flint gets a shilling. <gasps> One shilling for you, Morgan. Looks like you found me. <laughs> Stop there! Who are you, stranger? My name is Joshua Flint, your former captain, with a bullet hole right here, which was put there by Long John Silver. But I am not a ghost. Now you, on the other hand... <laughs> that was Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> Don't move! Where's Morgan? You'll be joining him soon. <laughs> 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 Stop wasting time, human. Go and command your red-coated soldiers. They'll handle the pirates for you. Not all of them. I want Long John Silver for myself. I arrived early just for that. Then make it quick, and leave here as soon as possible. Join your soldiers. 
Once you are finished, blow on the dead to make them your slaves and sail away on the ship that they arrived on. Now you may go and seek the vengeance you crave. Thank you. That's all I ask. Dr. Livesey! Squire! It's Jim! Don't shoot! Jim, thank goodness! Are you alright, my son? I'm sorry. We went to save Jojo, but they caught us! This wonderful man helped me get away! Jim! Jojo and Long John saved us! Huh? Huh. Huh. It's not what it seems. You've got to try to help Jojo. Yes, so like I was trying to say before, Jojo went with the pirates to try to convince Long John to help us. And so when he did, he... Enough of this nonsense you're spewing, boy! I do not believe a word of it! All right, Captain. I don't know why Silver has switched sides, but I know that I can't let you make Jojo a slave again. Not while uh, I can do something uh, about it. And you won't take me and my sister back to Bristol. And you won't even try it. Hmm. Huh. Stop this insubordination! Like it or not, you will respect the laws of England and His Majesty! I've got no respect for laws that aren't right! But if that's how you feel, we'll go without you! We're perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves! Huh? Uh. Um, not to intrude, but I think there's still a way to take those pirates by surprise! Silence, you uh. traitor! The last thing we will do is fall for another one of your tricks! Ben Gunn knows the paths on this island. We can sneak up on the pirates and catch them if we run along like hares along the cliffs. <laughs> and who is this man? Why don't I talk to him? Have you been living here long? Oh, no. Ben died here a long time ago. Ben Gunn is a ghost now. A bit senile, I suppose, but that's all right. If he knows the island well enough to help us win, then we should follow him. But, my lord, we cannot just abandon the fort. Then you stay here with Gray and Hunter while Livesey and I go on ahead. I need to stretch my legs a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be warned, Silver, uh. I have excellent aim. I can hit a shilling from 30 yards away. That rat Silver. He betrayed his own crew and then joined the other side. No, I can't guarantee a shot from this distance. I'll change the plan. Huh. Watch your balance, gentlemen. <laughs> Unless you have some wings you can use like a bird. Tweet, tweet! <laughs> yes, yes! The ship was not there before. Ben has never seen this ship. Oh, look! It's His Majesty's Marines! We're saved then! I need three separate platoons to search the island. Shoot on sight, show no mercy, and take no prisoners. Please don't shoot! I'm the Squire Trelawney! Ah, so you are the owner of the ship. I'm Lord Christopher Blade, Governor of Jamaica. Pleasure to meet you. Why, you're a gentleman from England. Good fortune has smiled on us at last. This is no chance meeting, my lord. The Sheriff of Bristol warned us that your life was in jeopardy. So we came to serve you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, don't, don't shoot. shoot! Wooden leg, crutch, sly expression. All of these attributes match the description of Long John Silver. Now get out of the way. I have orders to uh -huh. eliminate yes, him. Yes, this is Long John Silver, and he may be a liar and a thief, but don't execute him. Thank you, my little friends. Long John owes you one. Lord Blade, this outlaw surrendered to us of his own will. According to the laws of the high seas, he must receive a fair trial. My lord, this rogue surrendered because he knew he was going to lose. Deceit is in his nature. A criminal trial will be a waste of your time. Lord Blade, I must insist! Very well, but don't plead for the others. I've given my men orders not to spare anyone. Ah, no prisoners! Ah! My lord, would you do me the honor of being a guest on my ship? Thank you, good sir. But first, there's a matter that has us pressed for time. There's a treasure on this island. Yes, I forgot that was the reason you came here. But if you would prefer to continue your search, I'll wait for you here. Return to me when you are ready. I need to get Silver on that ship and chained up. Once I have him in hand, we can handle our other matters. That boy. 
He was in the inn the night I murdered Billy Bones. Then we'll silence that pirate forever. We're on the right track. We have to take a right at the big tree. Let's go. Mm. Hmm? 128. 129. 130. Pleasure. Huh? Oh. We found it. Oh, we finally found it. Huh? There's a chest! Huh? Huh? What the? It's empty. There's nothing in there. What do you mean? The treasure has to be around here. Keep looking! Huh? Huh? There's nothing. Nothing at all. But the ground is too hard here, so they couldn't have buried it. It's just an indigenous sculpture. No need to be scared. The Codex Indicus. Then it was true. We found it. It's right here. You know, we're all happy for you, Doctor, but that treasure was important for me, the girls, and Jojo, and now it's gone. We'll find a solution to everything, Jim, I promise. And with the wisdom enclosed in this book, you're sure to become a great doctor. Huh? No good, no good. You'll have to run away. We forgot the crazy castaway. Maybe he knows something. There, my good man. You've been on this island a long time. Do you know where the treasure was taken? Treasure is gone. Ben has not seen anything. Ben has been dead a long time. You have to get away from here now. Everything here is bad. Very bad. This man is insane. The treasure was clearly stolen by other pirates, and who knows what they went through getting it. I know it's hard to accept, but we got here too late. Unfound it all. So many pounds thrown away just to risk our lives in a fruitless venture. But I'm happy for you, my friend, and I'm glad that we made it out alive after all. <clears throat> hey, I'm staying right here. If Ben can survive on this island, then so can I. I'm not going back to slavery. I'll stay with you. I don't think I want to go back to Bristol. Ah! Hmm? Lynn, I'm afraid we have to. I know it seems hopeless, but we can depend on Dr. Livesey and the Squire. They can help us. Run away! Don't go! Run away with Ben to the ship on the other side of the island! The Hispaniola? We could command that ship ourselves! Ben, aren't you afraid that you might get arrested since you're a pirate and all? Ben Gunn is not afraid of the law. Ben Gunn is already dead! Ben is worried for you, for everyone! Evil men are coming! Follow Ben, boy. Follow Ben! You'll see! You'll understand! Those brats will be back soon. Huh? Don't mess this up. Shoot the boy and claim you shot a pirate. We'll just say that boy disappeared. Huh? That shadowy man! The one who murdered Billy Bones and now he wants me dead too! The boy, he saw us! Then go back to the ship right now. Governor Blade is after you? But why? And he's working with the same man who burned down your mother's inn? Run away, everyone! Run away back to the sea! We'll have to ask questions later. Ben is right, we have to escape, and we need to get as far away from Governor Blade's ship as we possibly can. I call Huracan. The time has come for us to wake the unliving. They must exterminate those children. They have seen too much, and if they tell someone, they could ruin our whole plan. Must go faster! Quickly! Almost there! Are there any wild animals on the island? I don't think so. Don't be afraid. We're almost at the beach. Follow Ben! You made it this far! Ben is a great fisherman. Ben will help you catch some fish. 
You're wonderful, Ben. Ah. Ah. Uh. No time for hugs. To the ship. Yes, to the ship and to our freedom. The pirate.